afternoon, folks. Big Bo with RVs with Big Bo and Parkway RV Center. The guys got a very special one today, a retro RV review. And this is one that I actually did a couple of years ago when we first bought it. We've done some work to it. And uh, we decided to set it up for the Christmas holidays and have, a, uh, have some lights on it, kind of make a little Christmas camper out of it. And guys, this is a very, very rare motor home. This is a 1973 Newell Diesel Pusher. Guys, less of five of these are known to exist. Built by the man who invented the diesel pusher. That is Mr. LKQ uh, Newell. Um... Uh, 1973 not long after he built this he sold his company because of his declining health but this is one of the ones that he actually built himself before he sold the company and um, those of you that don't know uh mr newell started building coaches in 1971 he came out with a he designed a way to put a rear engine gas motor in a class a motorhome which was unheard of at the time well, wasn't happy with that, so he decided to take it one step further in 1972 and built a prototype diesel pusher. And then, of course, you know, he was a, running a very small company. They only produced a few a year back there. In fact, they don't, they're still in business today, but they don't produce near the amount of... Uh, uh, they still don't produce as many as the big boys do, but they still make a very, very high-end million-dollar coach these days. But... In 1973, he only made a few of these before he sold his company. And this is one of them. Like I said, there's, there's less than five of these known to exist today. Most of them are in museums. It is 38 feet long. Now, guys, we've done a lot of work to it. We've done some modernizations, um, done a lot to it. And I know this isn't for everybody. But now, is this unit for sale? Now, that's going to be the tricky question. Yes and no. Um, it's one of those things we don't have to sell it. We don't want to sell it, but if somebody paid the price, we would sell it to them. And if you are interested in buying this coach, I'm not going to, I don't normally do this guys, but I'm not going to put a price on it because I don't know what he'll take for it. I'm going to give you dad's cell phone number. His name's Bill Adams. If you are interested in buying this thing and you want to work out a price with them, it's not going to be cheap. It's going to be well north of $50,000. Give him a call on his cell phone at 423-605-6747. Like I said, not really looking to sell it, but he would for the right price. And it's going to take a lot of cash to do it. Because you're not going to find another one of these for sale ever again. And I'll tell you what I know about it. He can probably fill in the rest if you're an interested buyer. But guys, every diesel pusher I've done a video on owes his existence to this one right here and others like it. And God, look at the styling on this thing, guys. The chrome, the metal, the aluminum. I mean, this thing is just an incredible piece. Now, it did originally come with a Screaming Eagle Detroit motor. And of course, about 20 years ago, the previous owners spent $35,000, I guess because the motor was bad, couldn't get parts for it anymore or whatever, and put a ISB 5.9 liter Cummins diesel with a six with the allison six-speed transmission and then a few years later he replaced the power plant with a modern 7500 onan diesel generator but you know which i mean you know considering how old this motor i mean 1973 guys whew, that was a long time that's what was that 50 years ago almost wow uh we had tires put on and we got it had new batteries put on it just recently This is uh, an incredible machine, guys. Look at the lines, look at the colors. Got Santa Claus on the roof there. Got trailer hitch on the back. I mean, this thing is, and you won't believe how well this thing drives. I mean, you drive most 50 year old vehicles, they drive like crap, but uh, this thing right here, guys, it's amazing. This thing just floats going down the road. And the chassis and everything was built by Newell, by LK Newell himself. So, 
of course built in Oklahoma got frosty driving right there <laughs> let's look inside this 73 Newell got the, uh, the big alloy wheels I mean I wouldn't hesitate to jump in and drive it anywhere now guys, we had to do some work in here when we first got it. We originally got it, it had a little bit of soft spot in the floor right here, and it had that that those little square tiles, and unfortunately we couldn't save those, so we had to put, we redid the floor, it's all solid as a rock, I mean, no worries there, and uh, we did put new carpet in it. But, I mean, the upholstery's pretty much period specific. Um, in fact, we had, believe these front chairs right here were recovered, but we did it in the exact same style or as close as we could get to the original. Uh, what an RV, guys. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome machine. Uh, flex steel captain's chairs were added recently. Leather captain's chairs, very, very comfortable power. Look at these gauges, guys. They work. Looks like a, a darn drive to flying an aircraft with all these gauges. Does have a modern backup camera system. Um, uh, newer television, of course. CD player. Got the original GE CB. Showing 272,000 miles on it. And, uh, of course, that's the motor probably only has 40 or 50,000 miles of motor and transmission that's on it original steering wheel i mean the wood in this thing is perfect dash is perfect you can look around to the windows there's no swollen wood panels no leak damage like i said guys this is an amazing amazing machine <clears throat> and uh They don't make them like this anymore, guys. Little fold-up table, sleeper sofa right here. Upholstery's great on it. It's actually original. Um, countertops, original. Hmm. Little, of course, I got Santa Claus on it right now. Got a little liquor cabinet. Got an ice maker. And you'd be surprised almost everything in this thing all all uh, pretty much all these appliances work original stove top and oven from 1973 works uh got a newer refrigerator microwave incredible now, of course the bathroom's very unique in this but, you know, back then, everything was new. I mean, they were making it up as they, as they went along. I mean, there wasn't no standard diesel pusher back then because this was one of the very first ones ever made. So, it's going to be a little different than modern RVs because there was no standard. Refrigerator works great. Got a, a newer Norco. I'm not going to say brand new, but it's about, about 20 years old. And you've got a three-room bathroom, and I'll show it to you. First bathroom, uh, this is brand new. Uh, we put this toilet in here. This is a, uh, one of those big China Dometics, about a six, $700 toilet. And uh, still got the original wallpaper on the wall back here. You can see the wall panels are perfect. They're all original, not been painted or nothing like that. Got some pictures on the wall, some decorations, Route 66. Now, how awesome would this be to take down Route 66? Wow. <laughs> you keep going down to the second room, and um, you've got the original, and what this is, a little, it's a little electric dryer, and it works. This is a um, for your washcloths and ha hand cloths. Just to have a nice hot washcloth to dry your hands on. Of course, original sink, all that right here looks great. Hair dryer. <laughs> Bathroom cup dispensers, remember those? You can see a lot of the original uh, light switches and all that stuff still in here. And then your shower 
is on the other side from this and guys i apologize it's a little bit tight through here because i'm i'm 300 plus pounds six foot four so smaller than me this is not going to be a big deal this is your shower crazy i mean just neat as can be um Turn that fan off. Exhaust fan works, all that. Got a clothes line to hang your clothes up in here. And you've actually got a lot of closet space. In fact, of course, like I said, I know this was all new back then, but they could have designed it with a, a bigger shower and bathroom combined in one with a little bit less closet space. But, of course, you know, back then, storage probably was more important back then than a bathroom uh got double ducted roof airs they both work more storage in the very back you've got a queen island bed i love the old slanted windows too don't those look so cool i mean just neat I like this comforter too. That's kind of cool. Um, it's a neat camper, guys. I mean, like I said, it's just some wiring and stuff up there. It's different. It operates and a lot different than modern RVs. But for you retro RV guys, of course, there's nothing that you can't learn how to use. Or you may already know how to use. You can see the ceiling panels. Nothing's hanging down. Metal roof really really cool guys and again i'm just more or less showing it to you um this is not going to be on the website um uh, or nothing or advertised anywhere except on youtube and like i said he may sell it he might not sell it if you want to try to buy it give him a call uh this will be a strictly personal deal between you and him 423-605-6747 if you want to know a price but like i said it's going to take cash and going to take a lot of it to buy this this is not one of those things that you see hit the market and, and is, is it on the market it's kind of on the market it's kind of not he, he and, you know i asked him if he was wanting to sell it or just display it he said you know just display it for now do a retro video review but tell them that i might sell it if the price is right but i don't have to and that's where he kind of left it so i'm gonna let you call him again guys write this phone number down if you are interested in it because nobody here at the lot is going to know anything about it so you'll be dealing directly with him personally area code 423-605-6747 i asked him he wasn't even sure he's going to do some research try to figure out what he wants for it but all he told me that is that it would be well north of fifty thousand dollars if if he sold it as like he said, if he sold it, he'd probably regret it for the rest of his life because he'll probably never find another one like this. And uh, we've got a collection of retro RVs, guys. And I know I keep saying that. I keep meaning to go down there and show some of them. But, you know, we've redone a lot of them. It's kind of a family thing with us. But here's the thing. I mean, it's just with the pandemic and, and everybody working here six days a week, we don't hang out like we used to, you know, because we're so short-handed at work and everybody has to work more hours and they ever dream they would ever want to including myself and dad and my sister and everybody else that works here guys it's just really hard to do the extra curricular activities like we used to enjoy doing um and so he may sell some of his other antique motor homes i don't know um because it's you know we talk about this all the time heck you know we work here all day and for you know eight nine hours it, you know the last thing you want to really do you just want to go home and eat and relax instead of going out and working on campers for another three or four hours and uh, even though i enjoy doing that but you know heck guys you, you can't do it all and i guess that's one thing that makes us different too you know you go to like rip off world all these places you know most of the people that work there and even the ceo probably never stayed in an rv in their life not only at parkway rv center do we actually sell rvs 
we live the lifestyle guys we're all rv owners at least most of us are we work on them i mean i grew up around rvs fact before my dad took this place over he had an independent rv repair shop and i heck i was six seven years old and he was showing me how to do stuff then i mean uh you know i grew up doing that stuff and then coming here to my grandpa's lot and uh when i was after school when i was in high school and working here and doing stuff too i mean i learned a lot of stuff back then it's amazing guys you look back at that and you never realize you're living the good old days until many many years afterwards so because I tell you, as much as I love my life, now there's there, there's days I'd give anything to be able to come back here when everybody was still alive and around and, and spend the day here like I did when I was a kid. And, you know, back then, you didn't really think much of it, but wow. And, you know, motorhomes like this is what I grew up around. Maybe not a Newell in particular because these were even rare back then even when they were brand new, but uh, it's just really cool to see these things like this brought back pretty much their former glory. And this would make an incredible RV for anybody and definitely something that nobody else will have. And shows or, or whatever. I mean, this is definitely, like I said, this is, this is ain't, this ain't one you're gonna see parked anywhere else at a campground. So if, if somebody does happen to buy this, congratulations, you probably bought one of the most unique motorhomes I've ever had the privilege of shooting a video on. And one of my personal favorites too, so. And guys, this will be my last message um, for Christmas time. We, uh, we're probably gonna close down here by an hour or so. I barely have enough time to get this video online. I just wanna thank each and every one of my viewers guys I wish y'all a merry merry christmas i know that's not pc to say anymore but guys you know christmas isn't about buying presents or even get together with family guys we we always forget and then tv commercials won't even mention the word christmas there is no christmas without the word christ in it and it's about the let's never forget guys the whole meaning of christmas the whole point of all of this is to celebrate the birth of our savior jesus christ and please guys don't ever forget that don't forget to tell your kids that it's not all about santa claus and elves and presents and all that even though i've got a four-year-old myself but i always point that out to her that it's about the birth of jesus christ and uh, one of the greatest events in human history and that's what we celebrate christmas for and the lights and the christmas trees are all just a, a byproduct of that so um but anyway guys from my family to yours merry christmas enjoy it spend time with your family i really hope all y'all have a great one and i will probably come in some next week um before new year's i can't say that i'm probably going to be here every day but uh i may come in some maybe pop a video or two up here and there um i still want to do that truck camper in that truck and it should be ready next week so um uh, and I'll do a few more, but guys, again, have a Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. Feel free to smash me a thumbs up, comment, share on social media. And, um, and uh, thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and liking my videos and sharing them on social media, liking my Facebook page. And look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia. Merry Christmas.